Hi guys, and here again from Mudlad Designs, continuing the playthrough of Pulp Detective. In the last video, I showed you my setup. I explained, all, well, briefly explained all the different cards and all the different things. So in uh, this video, we are going to be actually playing the game. So we are going to be taking a turn, and each turn is split into three phases. Uh, we have the storyline phase, the investigation phase, and the time marches on phase. So, we start with the storyline phase. What you do is you, you take the top three cards from the investigation deck and you can roughly tell what they are by the letters. So this one is a cliffhanger which usually will give me more stamina. Well, these two are informers and will usually give me uh, clues. Not always, but more chance of. And, and then you look and decide what you're going to do because you have three options with these cards. One card you are going to keep and play, one card goes back into the deck and one card goes into a discard pile. So you need to look at what you've got, what you need and then decide what you're going to do with these three cards. So I wouldn't mind more stamina because it allows me to roll more dice. Um, and then we have the eyes which are for clues. And of course that's what we need. So I think I am going to go and try and investigate for a clue. Uh, so I'm going to keep one of these. Uh, for now I'm just going to push it. I'm just going to push it forward. So I'm going to keep that. Now one of these I need to put back into the deck. You just lift up about half the cards, throw it in, put it back. And I think I will throw the other clue card back in. So you just put it in wherever you want to put it in. I'm going to put it in there. And this then goes into a discard pile face up. Whenever you run out of these, this discard pile is going to be shuffled and becomes a new draw pile. So you turn it face up and I'm going to put the discard pile just there. So this is the card I am going to be playing with. Uh, I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to take a closer look and I'm also going to show you the time card with it as well. So this is our informant card and depending on what time we're on, well, depending on what task we're going to do. So the way you find that out, what task we are going to do, is first of all you're going to be looking at these numbers. And is our time on any of these numbers? Well, we are on 24. So it's fairly obvious that we're going to do the 24 line. If you're on 15, we do line where it says 15. If you're on 8, we do line 8. If you are in between times, so let's say I was on time, I don't know, 19. Okay. You look, are we on any of these times? No, we're not. So you look which times you are between. So I'm on time 19, so I will be between 24 and 15 and then you look at the next time upwards so any time between 24 and 15 I'm going to be looking at this top line any time between 8 and 15 I'm going to be looking at this middle line any time for 8 and downwards I'm going to be looking at this bottom line okay so 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and 24 we're going to be looking at this top line 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, we're going to be looking at this line, and then 8, 7, 6, and downwards. So you look what numbers you're between, and then you go to the next line upwards. In this case, I'm on 24, so fairly obviously I'm going to be tackling this. Uh, and we're going to be rolling how many dice our stamina says we can roll. Uh, our stamina, which is down there, you can't see, says we can roll four dice, so we can roll these four yellow dice. And we are looking to get these symbols. So I'm looking to get an eye and two newspapers by rolling these four die. So let's zoom out a bit and we shall tackle that. So I am going to bring in my trusty dice tower and we are going to be rolling our four yellow die to get a, an eye and two newspapers. Now the spe specific names for these I call them eyes and newspapers and feet and bullets, but there are specific names for them. Just bear with me a second and I will tell you them. I'll just have to find out. Right, here we go. 
uh, here we are, this is what they're called. The eyes connecting the dots, the newspaper's word on the street, the feet are making the rounds and the bullet is persuasion. And that's what all the other icons at the bottom mean. So there's your glossary. So we need uh, a connect the dots and two words on the street. Okay. So you can, if you want, roll all four dice together. Like in normal games, when you're rolling die, you roll them all together. However, you can roll them one at a time. And there is a reason why you might want to roll these one at a time. Because if you manage to get these icons when you're rolling one at a time, and you happen to get them and still have an unrolled yellow dice, so let's say I rolled these and got these what I needed, and I didn't need to roll this, then on the next storyline phase, when you're drawing your three cards face down, you're allowed to turn one over and look at it. So I am going to attempt to get an eye, or sorry, you connect the dots, and the newspaper, the word on the street. Now I know I've got a good chance of getting a newspaper, because there's two newspapers on here, where on here there's only one. So I'm going to roll this to see if I can get a newspaper, and I get feet. I don't want feet. <laughs> So uh, let's have a look. I need an eye. I'm going to roll this one because again uh, there's two eyes on here where there's only one eye on that one. So let's see what we get. Oh we got a newspaper. Okay that's something that we needed. So we need another newspaper and another eye. So let's go with this one to get the newspaper. And we get the newspaper. Let's hope, I mean there's only one eye on this. Let's hope I'm very lucky and get the eye. And I get another newspaper. Okay, right. So I have failed. I have not got the eye. I have completely failed. When you fail a task, a line, you are allowed to grab a twist marker, one of these, on the black side of one of these die faces. So I am going to get... Um, I think I will get... What shall I get? It's either newspaper or feet. Word on the street or make the rounds and I think I'll grab a newspaper so I'm going to grab that newspaper that's for me to keep and I can use uh, in one of my other rolls coming up and because I have failed I'll move this closer so we can see this line the white is success the brown is failure I have failed so I am going to lose whatever's here and this represents a time so I am going to lose one time on the case card. So I've lost the time on the case card. As you can see, you would lose time on any of these. These, if you succeeded, you would gain a clue. Um, let's go with this, just to show you something different. So let's say I was going for this one, and I failed, which is here. This is a stamina. I would lose a stamina. However, if you roll three of a kind, like I have here, you do not lose a stamina or an item. So if failure was a, a stamina or an item and you roll three of a kind, you do not lose that stamina or the item. However, you always lose time. So it doesn't matter how many of a kind you rolled, you will always lose the time. So that was in the discard pile. So I have lost one time, which is a shame. That was the investigation phase. I tried to investigate the card, I've failed, I lost a time. Then we go on to the last phase, which is time matches on. And every time time matches on, you lose a time. So out of all that, I've lost two time. So with this card, I am going to start what's called a storyline. So I'm going to place this here. Um, so that would, the storyline was to reveal three cards. Uh, the investigate is to pick the card and roll the dice to see if you do that task, that, that row. Uh, and then time matches on. And then we go right back around again to the storyline phase. So I'm going to be drawing three cards again. And again, I'm going to choose what I think I would like. Let's go with 
Let's go with the stamina, the C card. So I'm going to keep this one. Um, let's let's put this one in the discard pile, the informer. So we turn it face up in the discard pile, and this one just goes back in the deck like that. So we turn it over. Now you can place this card next to another card. So you can have a line of cards, you can place it underneath a card and have another line of cards. However, you cannot have a line of cards that's longer than the line above. This is fine, okay. However, I couldn't, if I drew another card, I could not do that because that line is longer than that line. I can certainly do that if I wanted to, or I could even do that and keep going all the way down. So I am going to, in this instance, I'm just going to put it there. Okay. So again, I'm going to now look at the time. I'm on time 22. So that is between 9 and 24. So I'm going to go up to the 24 line. And then I'm going to have to roll, let's have a look, uh, an eye, a newspaper and a bullet. So I am going to get my dice again. An eye, a newspaper and a bullet. Let's go with this newspaper with a star. We've got the bullet. We have the bullet. And let's go with this one, see if I can roll it in newspaper. Oh, we've got the eye. Let's see if I can roll in newspaper. Can I roll, can I do it? No. <laughs> Feet, I need a newspaper. Right, no. So I needed an eye, a bullet and a newspaper. However, I do have my twist marker. Do I want to use my twist marker? Um, I don't have to, I can keep it. However, I am going to lose the stamina if I fail. So I think I will use my twist marker. Put that out the way. To get the eye, the newspaper and the bullet. So I have succeeded. The twist marker goes away. And on the success, I am going to get a stamina. So I go from six stamina up to seven. I still roll, you, uh, roll only four die though. Of course, time marches on. So again, we lose a time. And then we go back around to the story line phase, pick three cards. And let's go with, if I get another stamina, I can roll five dice. Or do I want to try and go for a clue? Five dice would be handy. Um, I think I will try and get more stamina. I'll go with this card. I'm going to put the informer back in the deck. And this as a discard over here. And I'll see what we have. So again, we're on time 21. So we're between 10 and 24. So we go for the top line. And it is, let's have a look, two feet and a bullet. Now I can decide where I want to put this. I can put this here, or I can put this here. Um, I think I will put it there. Okay, so I'm going to be rolling my four dice and I need two feet and a bullet. So let's go with this one, see if I can get two feet. Well, there's my bullet. Let's go with the feet. There's my feet. I just need one more feet. Let's have a look. Let's go with this one. Ah, it's a newspaper. And this one. That's another newspaper. By heck. Ah, so I needed two feet and a bullet. I have failed. So I am going to lose a stamina. So that stamina I got, I'm going to lose. However, because I failed, I'm going to get a twist marker. And I think I will get a bullet twist marker. I'll put that there. 
and then of course time marches on. So you can see how quick a turn goes. So we're on to our next turn. We draw three of these. Is it worth getting an item? I'm going to go for a clue, I think. I'm going to put the item back in. Uh, stamina card, the cliffhanger. And I'm going to go for this card, the informant. Okay, so let's, where are we going to put this? We can put it here, we can put it here. We cannot put it above the first line that we've made. So this is our top line, you can only go further down. And I think, uh, shall I put it there, or shall I put it there? Let's go with... Let's move these up a bit. I'm actually going to put it there. So we're on time 20, so again we're between 18 and 24. So we're going to be good doing the top line, which is a foot, a newspaper and a bullet. Let's see what we get. And we get an eye. <laughs> we didn't need the eye at all. So let's go with this one. There's our feet. We just need a newspaper and a bullet. Let's see if we can get the bullet. We've got the bullet. Let's see if we can get the newspaper. Oh, we've got an eye. Not having much luck here. So we have not done this top task. We have failed. So we go to the fail section down here and we're going to lose a time. Another time. And actually I'm going to retrace my steps there. I'm going to go back. And I am going to look at my special ability on my investigator. And if you notice, it says during any nighttime hour. Oh no, I can't use that. If I had a feet twist marker, I could use it as a wild card. So I could have used it as a newspaper. However, I do not have the feet, which is that. I do not have that. So I cannot use a special ability. It is on night time though at the moment, which is these dark circles. Uh, so I am going to lose the time. So that was a failure. However, because I failed, I'm going to get another twist marker and I will get a... I think I'll get an eye. I'll get an eye. Uh, and of course, after that, time matches on. Time goes down. So move that out of the way. Uh, again, we go back up um, to the storyline phase. We're going to be drawing three of these. And let's go with, let's try and get myself an item, or shall I? No, I'm still going to go for clues, so I'm going to put this back here, this here, and then I'm going to turn this over, and then where shall I put this? I'll put it there. So time, we are on time 18. So 18 is between 14 and 24. So we're going to be looking at this top line and we need three bullets. Um, and I'm not going to get the tower out. I'm actually just going to roll, see if I'm any better at rolling in the hand. Three bullets. Well, there's the first one. Uh, here we go, another bullet. Come on, oh, an eye that we don't need. These have to be bullets. We have two bullets. <laughs> Come on, another bullet. Come on. Yes, look at that. Three bullets. So we were successful. Because we were successful, we look in this column. The question mark is a clue. We're going to gain a clue. When we gain our first clue, it says we can gain a stamina. Fantastic. And because we're successful, we do not gain a twist marker. However, we do go on to our next turn. Oh, sorry, time does march on. Next turn, let's have a look. Let's try, oh, I'd like to get my clues. I'm gonna go for another clue. I'm gonna put the stamina back into the deck. 
follow the lead as and then I'm gonna have this one uh, we are on time 17 so we are between 13 and 24 so we're gonna look at the top line we need two eyes and a newspaper or two connect the dots and one word on the street where can I put this I cannot put it there because then it's longer than the line above I can put it there I can put it there or I can even put it underneath and make a new th new line okay I am going to put it up here and so we need two eyes and a newspaper so let's see I have an eye here so I could use this but let's see what we get two eyes and a newspaper bullet we don't need that let's see what we get on this die wow a bullet we not, uh, I need an eye and a newspaper and then I could use this eye as well oh, let's see what we get there's an eye this needs to be a newspaper come on we get three bullets <laughs> okay now if we were going to lose an item or stamina then because we rolled three of a kind we wouldn't lose that but because it's time we are going to lose time that's a shame and because we failed we're going to gain a twist marker however you can only gain two free twist markers if I wanted to gain another twist marker I would need to lose an hour so then I could have three twist markers if I fail again I can get a fourth twist marker but I need to lose another hour so the first two twist markers are free however if you get a third you miss, must pay for it for an hour by losing an hour if you get a fourth you must pay for that one as well by losing an hour so do I want to lose an hour to get another twist marker um, well not really because I can only get bullets or an eye I mean I could double up I could get two eyes or two bullets but I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm going to leave it as it is and then time marches on so there we go so back to the storyline phase okay and I think I'm going, I'm going to go try for an item so I'm going to keep that one I'm going to put the informer back in the deck and the stamina I'm going to put in the discard pile so this is our so we are on 15 so are we between 17 and 24 well no because we're below 17 okay so are we between 6 and 17 and I'll show you that well we are between 6 and 17 because we're on 15 so we're going to be doing this middle line so you always go up so we need two eyes and two bullets okay so where am I going to put this I could put it there I could put it there I couldn't put it there but I can put it there but there is a specific place I'm going to put it and I'm going to put it there and there is a reason for that and the reason I'm going to put it there is because of these triangles now notice some of these cards have triangles of different colors if you place a card out and you manage to match triangles for each pair of triangles you match on the card that you've just put out you are allowed to re-roll one of your yellow dice okay so because I've matched these two green ones when I've put it out I can re-roll one of my dice if I'd managed to match these two if this was red for example and I managed to match red here and green here then I could have two re-rolls of my dice but because I've matched them up here I'm only going to get one re-roll that's what these triangles are for to try and match them up um, and get free re-rolls and that's why you instead of just making one big long line of cards you place uh, different rows this is your storyline and these would be your subplots underneath and that way you can then put cards out to try and match these triangles so I'm looking at this middle line here and I need two eyes and two bullets and I get one free 
re-roll because of the matching triangles. So let's go with uh, let's go with this eye. So we've got our eye. Then we need let's go with this bullet. See if we can get a bullet. We've got our two eyes. Do we get a bullet? Let's see if we can get another bullet. We've got a bullet. Now I can re-roll any of these. I've got a re-roll coming. Do I want to re-roll anything? I can use my twist marker and I will get my two eyes and my two bullets. And because I didn't roll this one, I would be able to look at one of the cards I turn over. Sorry, one of the cards when I put the three cards out in the storyline. Should I use that? I'm going to use that. Okay. So, two eyes, two eyes, two bullets, two bullets. Because I've got one die left over, I'd be able to look at one of the cards when I put the three out. So, I have been successful. So, I'm going to put those back. That is now discarded. And because I've been successful, I am going to get an item. Now the way you get items is you look at your discard pile. When you're getting an item, you look at your discard pile. And you'll notice up here, where are we here? There is a symbol, it looks like a die face. And you can see it has four. So then you look on your item card and you see which of these items, where are we, there we go, equals what you've looked at on top of the discard pile. So we got four and that is that is that one down here. So I'm allowed to re-roll one extra yellow investigator die on my next turn. So I will mark that by putting that on here. And that's how you get items. There we go, that's that's there like that. You look at this and you get an item from there. If there is no, let's see, is there any? Okay. If there is no symbol at all, you then go to the next card and see what that is. And that's the item you get. So we got a four, didn't we? Once you've got the item, you take the top card, the discard pile, and put it under the bottom. So we have the opportunity now to re-roll one of our yellow die in our next turn. And of course time marches on, so we move that. Our storyline, two, three. And remember, because we didn't roll at least one die, we have the opportunity to look at one of these cards. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at this one and then decide what I want to do with them. So we are going to be rolling, if we choose our informant, we're on time 14, so we're going to be rolling this bottom lot. An eye, two feet, a newspaper and a bullet. As you can see, it gets uh, more things we need. Uh, and I've got an eye. Eye, two feet and a bullet. And I have the opportunity to re-roll one of these dice as well so I will go for the informant I'm going to put this one back like so this one on the discard pile and I'm going to place this card and place it here so we are looking oh I did make a mistake we're not looking at the bottom line because we are looking at this line here, the 16 line. Is it between 9 and 16? Yes, we're on 14. So we're looking at this middle line. So it's an eye, two eyes, feet and newspaper. So two eyes, feet and newspaper. Let's go with this one. There's the newspaper. Let's go with this one. Uh, there's the feet. We need another eye and another newspaper. So let's go with this one. There's our newspaper. Uh, oh, we've got two newspapers. We needed two eyes, didn't we? 
Shall I re-roll this one? Or shall I re-roll this one? I'm going to re-roll this die. I'm going to use my reporter. And I'm going to re-roll this one. Oh, newspaper. Uh, we need to roll this one. This needs to be an eye. No. We needed two eyes, feet and newspaper. So we failed. Uh, and we're going to lose time. So down one. I can get a twist marker. Because I've only got one left. I'll get a newspaper one. And then time matches on. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, join me in the next episode when I continue on. Who knows if I will confront the criminal or not. I definitely need more clues. I wouldn't mind more items and definitely more stamina to roll more dice. Well, I'm, it is really a tough game. You're very lucky to get anywhere near the criminal. I think out of all the games I've played, about six or seven games, I've once have managed to get to the criminal. But that is Pup Detective. Join me in the next episode when I will continue on. Until then, thanks for watching guys and I will catch you later.